evening everybody. It is Sunday night. Uh, 855, temperature 19 degrees. I'm heading down to Grand Forks for tonight. I'm gonna park there overnight, sleep in the truck, and then unload this first thing in the morning. I think they're probably gonna be super busy down there, so. I wanna get down there, well, early, late, whatever you wanna call it, but I wanna be sitting in line there for the morning. Probably going to be busy. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I wasn't feeling so good the last few days. And I kind of uh, didn't do much at all. I slept a lot. Just wasn't feeling great. I don't know. It's, every now and then, I, it seems to... I don't know whether it's I work too much or things seem to catch up to me and then I just have to rest for a few days. That's what happened. I kind of had to recharge this weekend. I really didn't do much of anything. Slept a lot, which I guess I needed. I feel a little bit better now. But I slept probably about five hours this afternoon. Now I got like a headache because I'm not used to that. And I probably won't be able to sleep till like 2 in this morning. Who knows? But I do feel better. again, pick up fertilizer out there in Beulah. That'll be something to haul, I'm sure. This week. DOT sneaking around somewhere. It's actually been kind of warm here in North Dakota the last few Oh, well, actually, all last week it wasn't too bad. 
20s to, to low 30s. That's very rare for this time of year up here. Usually it's in the single digits to negative. But I'm sure we'll pay for it at some point. I'm sure we'll get walloped a few times yet, but even the storms are really nasty. less chance of getting caught being heavy like this.
close and it's, uh, uh, Thursday, no, yeah, Wednesday was the last day it was open, so, uh, Sunday night, uh, I'm sure they're stacked up there pretty good. Uh, they start dumping at 7 a.m. So. And you gotta be down here by, well, let's see, they. It depends on. Uh, like, we're hauling from the Drayton elevator, and they're only allowing six loads a day from each elevator. So that means that you can only do one a day down here. But there's another farm that I can haul out of that if I get enough time, I come back down. But you got to be in line by 2. You, get, you have to be here no later than 2 p.m. to be able to dump or else you have to dump the next day. So it used to be 12 noon, but lately they've been allowing 2 p.m. So. So, uh, excuse me, the point is, if you don't get down here early, the line will be too long and you won't be able to get back here in time to make two, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a pain in the neck to Grand Forks Mill. And there, it's just, if you have a hopper bottom trailer in North Dakota, you hate the mill. Sometimes you'll sit here two, three hours waiting on a load. It's not a fun place to go. So, yeah. I'm already expecting it to be about probably five lines, maybe six already lined up here. Probably about 30, 40 trucks, maybe 45 trucks here already. Bullshit. Too bad, not as bad as I thought it would be. One, two, three, three lines. Yeah, it's really not too bad. I thought it'd be way worse. Four, four lines.
good. I gotta clean my bed up back here. It's kind of a mess. That needs to be organized. Well, I'm gonna be here for tonight. It is 10 o'clock. So I'll probably watch a movie or two because I slept half the afternoon away. Maybe I'll watch something on Netflix. And then, so, seven, so I'll probably move about 740, 730-ish, something like that. Okay, see you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Morning, everybody. Yeah. So I probed, and now we're gonna dump over here. And I apologize to the camera because I just woke up from taking a really hard snooze. And I'm saying a bunch of weird stuff. So, <clears throat> so anyway, to the camera. And I, let me get my uh, microphone on here. So, my thoughts on this whole thing about Kobe Bryant getting killed. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame. Okay, it is. All right, nobody. Guy's 41 years old. His daughter's in the helicopter. The helicopter crashes. It's a shame. But the way that they carry on about this guy dying. I mean, soldiers die every day. Nobody gives a rip about them. Right? Uh... People die all over the world. This guy dies, and it's like, it's like, how does he? How did I wake up this morning and do my job? Because Kobe died. So, anyway, yeah, that's a good. You know, I mean. Uh, it's a shame the guy's 41 for crying out loud I mean it's a tragedy what happened uh, and his daughter what was she 13 right oh yeah it's awful it's absolutely awful I mean nobody's saying that it's it's a tragedy but uh, I mean, let's keep it in perspective there were seven other people on that helicopter don't their lives matter too well, there's nine people, right? Yeah. So nobody even know who what, what who were the other people. What was the pilot's name? I guess nobody cares about that because they couldn't dribble a ball. Let's see, that's all I'm saying. Don't make anybody out more important than anybody else. We're all the same in this world. It's humans that put value on what it you know there's 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 nine people in that in that helicopter 
and you have eight other life stories there that need that that could be told but there might be some really fascinating people in there maybe the pilot had an incredible story about his life right but because he couldn't dribble a ball and throw it and make millions of dollars he's not important you see what i'm saying as humans put certain value on certain people and what certain people are worth because of what they can do and, and what they get paid for and then other people aren't valuable that's all i'm trying to say sometimes that annoys me that's all that's all i'm going to say yeah it's awful what happened Anyway, little old useless Michael uh, woke up at the mill in North Dakota where nobody wants to wake up <laughs> and uh, the time is, what time is it? Time is 8, 10 and it's 15 degrees out in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Oh yes. Now I'm gonna switch cameras. That that's the case. You know. Yeah, no, no, that's true. I mean, I, I agree with that. I, I think that's that's one of the things I I agree with and I like about them. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, he wasn't a douchebag and just spent the money on himself, like he did a lot of good work. Okay. Alright, alright, I can go with that. You make a good point. Okay. That's true. He didn't like cheat his wife and run around and, and shoot people. Alright, that makes sense. Okay, I can live with that. I can understand that. All right, I'm mistaken, Senior Dita. You're right. That's true. You see how? You see how when you make a? No, no, no. You're right. You're right. I can understand the appeal. It makes a little more sense to me why everybody's so upset. About it.
I can go up to I can go up to the farm and graft and load wheat to come back down here, which I may do. I think I'm going to do that. And then after that, I don't quite know. Probably just take the rest of the day off. I feel pretty good this morning, actually. Yeah. Hey, let me, uh, let me call that guy real quick to see if I can load there. I'll call you right back. Just give me five minutes. Thank you. 